Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Wright. Hey, Kane. You should, yeah, you should recognize this, I imagine. Hello, Azzy. Hey, Froggy. Hey, Sol. Oh, I saw I had some particularly special ones earlier. Dagavika, happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Hope you're having a lovely day. We can deal with our trauma together, seriously. Though I was practicing nurse, I was getting better and better, and people were getting saltier and saltier as I was getting better at nurse. I was starting to like do some crazy f through the floor teleports and nabbing people pretty quickly. It was pretty fun. Nine rank, indeed. He was upset. I four killed that game, it was quite good actually. Hey cat peasant, hey cat hat. Why'd you nearly die eating your lunch? You're not that old. Goodness. You don't need dentures. Come on. What's going on? Day off was nice. Thank you, Froggy. No, Kane. No, he wasn't. No. Hey, Giggles. Hey, Kirby. Oh, that sounds annoying. You can always just, like, look at the floor and just start swinging, you know, for the best. See how far you get. You div delivered a pizza. It's good that at the end of the world that, you know, pizza's still there. Pizza's still there. Hey, Emmy! It is far too hot. Hey, Nico Pup. Doctor's good fun, actually. I tried him for the first time yesterday. Sandwich went down the wrong pipe. Goodness. First is dentures. Now it's forgetting how to eat things. Honestly, we got we got to like reinvigorate you. All right. Should we get cracking? Let's do it. Lewd. Oh, thank you, Kane. Yeah, it seems like pizza never betrayed. Pizza never betrayed. Thank you very much for that, Kane. Yeah, the new skin for Oni was cool. We actually saw it earlier. And the guy was, like, super wholesome. I was trying to get, like, a flashlight um, challenge done. And the guy just let me do it, which was really nice. And at the end of the game, I was like, thanks for letting me zap you. And he's like, yeah, no worries, dude. He goes, I figured, he goes, I was like, he, like, he said, uh, I figured you were doing the challenge. I was like, no, oh, what a nice man. Well, he's a minotaur, actually, but you know, point still stands. Hey, we knew. Hey, call him. I don't have air conditioning. It's very warm. I have two fans on. It's not enough. It is definitely not enough. What a scam. Alright. Darkwood. Let's get the sound for Darkwood back on. It's been... I haven't played it since the LP, obviously. So I'm thoroughly looking forward to... Uh, difficulty normal. Skip prologue, no. Alright, let's do it. Here we go. Yeah, I think I think my nurse gameplay has been getting better, Pumpkin. I think it was getting there. Hey, Voodoo. Hey, Clark. Hey, Tolwyn. You claim this reward with half of your points. Nice. What are you thinking, Kane? He is just scammy, right? This game isn't joking, by the way. If we don't respect the woods, we're going to get absolutely fucking punked. This game is definitely, definitely a tricky game. Very, very difficult. 
So, was it even on normal, so we'll have to see how we do. Thing about normal, though, you can die. There's no real terrible punishment for snuffing it. Obviously, we want to avoid it if possible. Yes, yeah, so let me know if it's too loud. It should be alright, but... There are... I, w I won't lie. There's a few jump scares. They're loud. They're very loud. But they're not that common. So, it's not like... It's more like Eternal Darkness, fun enough, the music I was playing earlier. It's more like that. Um, in the sense there's one or two really nasty ones, but that's it. The woods have closed us off from the outside world. Spooky. It's set somewhere in, like, Ukraine or Poland, I think. It's, like, outside of the world. Unsurprising, this game has a very, very miserable air to it as well. Hey, Blair. How does this game save every night? It saves like every night. Mmm, pills. Notepad. Delicious. So, this is the tutorial. A homemade device for producing moonshine. A barricaded window. Why would, the, why would it be barricaded? As you can see, we can move things around. We also have light. Bugs and some sort of, like, fungus. It says it's potatoes. I don't believe them. The game is very, very big on, like, uh, what you can see. Yeah, me too, Nickel Pup. It's been far too long since I played this. Yes, there is a man called Wolf in this. Although man might be a bit of a stretch. As you can see, the game is very, very big on line of sight. That's really important. If we can't see it, we don't know it's there. Generator's almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken track to the east. Maybe I can find some gasoline there. Locked. I think I left the key in the wardrobe. So we can run, but it uses up stamina. We can search. We've got a camera. Very nice. A photo. Sound's also really important in this. Oh, your encyclopedia, you're, yours are turned up. Oh, that's awesome. I actually kind of wanted to get those myself. Hey, Lady Nine Girl. I might do. I might I might not side with Wolf this time. We'll see how we do. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, Jessica. Hey, hear me. Hey, indeed. The lock has jammed a long time ago. Never mind. I used to keep useless junk in there anyway. I will narrate or read what they're saying. I'd rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. My tools, they haven't been sterilized for years. The local patients can't be helped anyway. I've just woken up. This radio's been time for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. For some reason this man's- you get a lewd, Ooh. And you get a lewd. Everybody gets lewd. Everybody gets lewds! Thank you so, so much, Jack! Jack, you're an absolute lewd machine, dude. You really are. Thank you very much for that. Jack! What a fine, fine gentleman. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, Tolwyn, you got to spam those delicious leads now. Them's the rules here. If you got the delicious emotes, you got to use them. Because they are very, very nice, actually. We got, we've had some very talented artists work on this. Once again, I want to warn you, this game is dark, not just in title, but in just in content in general. It's a very unpleasant game. It's also pretty, pretty creepy. When some of the spookier stuff happened, I'm pro you'll probably find me shutting up, just so you sort of takes it in. Yeah, it's in Polish, I think, yeah. Nice. I best not enter this room right now. 
Yeah, I think it's set in Poland this game, I believe. I thought I already looted it, or was I being stupid? <laughs> Loot. Pretty sure I got the key out. Hey, thank you, Kill Hat! Spooks LP ever watched this? Yeah, seriously, man, right? Fucking creepy. I forgot what the inventory is. Ah, tab? Ah, that's why I'm being stupid. There we go. Use key. Thank you so much, Callahan. Hey, Saprook. Thanks for the uh, resub, man. Always a pleasure. Thank you very, very much. My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. As you can see, you can see what I mean with the, like, fog of war kind of style. So we can vault by pushing space. Lude. Lude? Shartanessa, blessings of the lewd upon you. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much for that. Damn, dude, thank you kindly. I was being asked for the sorry. Trap Nessa, thank you so, so much, dude. Bear trap. Yoink. Dead cow. Yoink. Snare traps. I must be careful. The woods are full of them. This used to be a path. I do have a map, I think, as you can see. Your position on the map is not marked. When you discover a new location, it will be added to your map. The location you're currently in is indicated in red. In order to not get lost, you need to learn how to determine your position. This game is randomly generated maps. I did see the new Oni skin. I actually f fought an Oni with it. Very, very cool skin. Sissy Shan, dude, thank you so, so much for the donation. You are an absolute star. I hope you're going to enjoy some Darkwood, man. Thank you for that. Goodness, we've got off to an extremely lewd start already. Better do that just to get rid of the tooltip. The fallen tree has been located. This game's very, very spoopy. The lewds will protect us from the jump scares. Or will it? Trust me, nothing will protect you from the scares in this game. Burned campfire, nice. I'll take that. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. There we go. Oops. So we have, actually have a relatively limited inventory, though the quick bar... There we go. Torches burn fairly quickly. Light is extremely important in this game. When am I going to stream those David Cage games? Like I told you, when you give them to them, probably never. Unless I'm doing it as like a take the piss stream. Maybe we'll do that at some point. The abandoned house. This is the prologue, but uh, you can skip this, but I think it's far more fun to do it. Well, that poor fucker ain't making it out alive, that's for sure. In a few days, it will be completely absorbed. That's not a normal looking elk. Yeah, Stork is very, very creepy as well. It's very cleverly done. The game is incredibly well done. It, the, the, whole, the whole entire idea of the being locked off in the outside world is very, very creepy.
Also, sound, like I said, is incredibly important. We have to listen out to noises. We do not want to get caught unaware. We will die. There's another creature here. Alright. We're back out into daylight. Ah! I think this one's still breathing. Big metal key. There's an exit out of these woods. This key will surely open it. Number 21. Hey, Anta. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's, o he's only carrying a key in some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. Alright, Kirby, take care, dude. But that... is of no importance. Oh, nice! Say hello to your T-Roll for me. What's their name? Right. We're getting, uh... I need to get out of this accursed forest. The house doesn't look quite the same anymore, does it? You hear me, rat? Show me how and I'll let you go. Sometimes I hear her voice. She's calling me. Rat, yes, yes. Icket claw, biggest brain rat inside entire Darkwood. Sometimes I hear a voice calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where? Show me where! Oof! <gasps> Icket would wreck half of the Darkwood. <laughs> Oof! Some doctor this guy is. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. Well, rude. Your son's nickname's Pup. Hello, Pup. Your son replies to me, 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 me. Nice. That f Just bear, bear in mind, Lady Nightingale, there's going to be some un spicy language, as long as you don't mind. I'll give you a few seconds to mute. If you want to. That fucker stole my key. An entry to some small cellar. Maybe the pantry? Wire and rags. I'm hurt. I could use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself. And make a lockpick. Spicy language. Hey, Max. Ah, uh, congratulations, dude. Went well, alright then. This barricade is too strong to dismantle. Or should we just lockpick the container then? Locked. I could open it with a lockpick. <laughs> so we crafted that lockpick and we will use it now. Hey, sticks and strings! Hey, hey, nearly two years on the Halloween with this hot summer night. Oh, it is so stuffy here, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Watch for the grubbers when the sun sets. That's what I'm worried about. That's what I'm worried about. Ah, okay, Lady Nightingale. No worries. Just wanted to make sure, just in case. Thank you so much, sticks and strings. You are lovely. Thank you very much. Shovel. It's heavy, but it has good reach. Mm -hmm. A flashlight, which is extremely valuable, but we've got it for now. The back is too strong to dismantle. Fuck. This door! This item's no longer usable. I need to repair it. Hello? I've got it tied back at the moment, uh, sticks and strings. A syringe. Yeah, five views is good, especially when you start out. 
honestly, when you think about it, people watching you live is a, is a big deal anyway. Like, just just the whole the whole idea of people watching you is awesome. I think it's one of the nice things about Twitch. It's a radio. It's got blood on it now. Lude. We reveals he enjoys being voyeur. That it's true. They're watching me. That lamp is not working very well. Let's get the hell out of here. Indeed, we've got a generator to find. It's not working. Metal table with leather belt strapped on it. This looks all looks perfectly normal. Search the crate. Gasoline. Usable. Fuels generators. Highly combustible. Table leg. It's made out of oak. I can use it as a weapon. Just as well. It's getting darker out here. Right, let's fill the generator. To refill the generator, equip the gasoline tank. Hover your cursor over the generator. Right, let's equip it then. We'll need enough for one night's worth, probably. Voila! We have light. Well, that's not normal. Hey, Fiki! I've been practicing a nurse, dude. I've been getting better. Lude. I should manage to get four kills with her early. Unlimited power. Well, somewhat limited power. The corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open. I can hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from radio static. Four, eight, nine, two. I better not leave the house at night. It's safer here. Oops. Four, eight, nine, two. Who's there? Wait, please let me out. There's someone else here. The door seems stuck. Need to apply some force to it. Help me. Come closer. Prick. Plastic chick. Nice. Yeah. That guy can sometimes make... <laughs> and how do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? Hear it?
Okay. God, Lord! Well, fingers crossed for you, Giggles. This game has amazing ambience in general. Chapter 1. So that's the prologue. You can, uh, like I said, you can skip that, but, you know. And here is our, uh, here's our home. For now. There's an oven here. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. And as long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Ex examine the oven. When I arrived here a couple of days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. Look at the weird bottle. The label on the bottle says... Staying out of the reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. Is it advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area? Warning. Even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended to stay in a well-lit indoor area to minimise the risk. Look inside the pot. A small empty cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms. These red, pulsating mushrooms. They look so tasty. Maybe this pot Lewd. will be useful after all. So we can uh, dose ourselves up on mushrooms, but not yet. Games is giving you a pro tip. Don't fuck it up. Shrooms! Delicious shrooms. I've heard Cat Lady's really good. A wardrobe. So we got rag, nails, a photo of the road. The road home says Droga do Domv. If anyone speaks Polish. So we've got a gap in the wall here. Of which we can sort ourselves out. Now. It's day, or it should be. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. I want to stay here for some time. I should do the same with the other windows. So that's a bit of a bit of a trick, that one. Because we can... Eh, there's no real need to do that with everything. Let's put it that way. Workbench. We can actually upgrade our workshop. We can upgrade our bags. We can upgrade the items we're using. But can't really do that yet. So. Mushrooms. Mmm, mushrooms. Hey, I'm being cute. Yeah. Received an old cooking mushroom. These don't last very long, if I remember correctly. Cookable rots over time. So we want to get this back to the uh, the oven, if I remember correctly. There we go. If you wait too long, they rot. So you don't. If you find something, you don't really want to muck around too much. Bear trap. The bear trap under the window is sloping. Looks like this night was exceptionally uneventful. Just about ready. Got some rope, some alkali mahal, a bottle, and a mushroom book. The title reads, The Use of Mushrooms in the Household. Handy. Got a bed. Got a light. So, here's the generator for the night. When night starts falling, we turn the generator on. As it currently stands, we don't need to do that. So, what we probably should think about doing before we leave... Uh, we need to think about where we're going to camp out. And looking at this, I think it's going to be s here is going to be the most sensible. So what we're going to be want to be doing is getting some of our lamps. Lamps, my brother. So we'll get some of our lamps over this way a minute. Hey, Andy Brown. Hey, Amy. 
Lorelei. I haven't played Lorelei either. <laughs> Lude. Hey, Zonra. Thank you very much for the resub, dude. Much appreciated, man. Thank you for that. Okay. The reason I'm doing this now, because we won't necessarily get the chance to do this afterwards. So what we're gonna do? Lude. We're gonna give. We're gonna drag our little wardrobe over this way. Lamps, my brother. Thanks again, Zonra. Cheers, Arth. A long week. Have I tried carrion? Yeah, I did try carrion. It was alright, actually. Not, not a bad little title. Alright, so we're going to leave this here for now. Cool. Alright. Now we can start exploring outside. I forget where we can store everything. Do we, we don't have a chest or something, do we? We can store stuff in? I guess the... Could do it the wardrobe, but a bit risky. There's a storage thing, and I can't quite remember where it is. Might be outside. Mushrooms. Alright, let's harvest these mushrooms. We'll stick those in the oven as well. Again, we've got a little bit of time before uh, we actually have to worry about rushing. Oh, nice, Seth. How's it handling? If any of them some badgers. Fuck badgers. Badgers are dicks. <laughs> There's our generator. Turn on the generator before dark. Hiding in the shadows won't do any good. They're coming either way. Generator's half empty. It contains enough gasoline for one more night. I should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. Container. We've got a saw here, so we can put logs in there. Convert what wood logs to... Uh, Planks. You can build a well to get some water. Alright. How much space have I got currently? Mm. Could probably do with... Uh, where are we on the map? Okay. Last time I was down here, funny enough. So that's the underground entrance. So I need to head south initially. So we're going to put some stuff in uh, fuck, I don't know. Put it in the wardrobe for now, I guess. I think I'll take the bottle. Rope, nail, and rags. We'll keep those on us. Cool. Lude. Can I make anything? Not yet. Okay. Got no, no way of defending myself as of yet. FK. On Steam. Probably not. You'll see. Wait, FK on Steam? Oh no! Thank you for the boots, Pumpkin! Well, difficult playing this on normal. Normal. Don't really fancy getting super into the moment. Got a tractor here. If we head directly south, we should. Theory should. Run right into the house. Those are poisonous shrooms, don't want to run into those. Underground entrance found. Nice. Oh, the cat lady! Oh, thank you so much, Pumpkin! Oh, look at that! Pumpkin's gift to the cat lady! Oh, thank you! Aha! Bear trap. I'll take that. Thank you so much for that, Pumpkin! Oh, Blasphemous is great, Omni! Good. We got enough to craft a weapon. No. This is the house. I'll find the entrance to the underground here. Thanks so much for that, Pumpkin! This game's very cool. 
Although, we've only got a small... We've got a limited amount of time before it gets dark, so we need to do what we can before then. Oh, we got some bandages, nice. Gotta be careful, stand on the bear traps. Rags, nails, and a lockpick. Got some bread. Gasoline. Pack of ciggies. Not much good to me right now, probably. Matchsticks. Got the gasoline, but... The entrance of the underground tunnels. Well, we ain't going in there yet. I think we can. Not really a good idea. Hey, Karen! Weapon crafting needs a crafting bench. I'm pretty sure you're right. So we can go in here, but we're not going to. Oh, well, uh, all the best for the surgery, mate. Hope it goes all right. Hey, Lorella. Right. All muskrooms. All right. Now, we really don't want to get caught outside without a weapon, so we want to head back for now, probably. I'm pretty much full on stuff as well, so... Nothing horribly untowards happening yet, that's for sure. Underground entrance. We're at this little bit of wood here. Now, there is some, uh, there's a field here we could potentially go into. But again, I think we'll, uh, get ourselves nice and armed first, shall we? Or at least as armed as they can be right now. Lube. Some sort of dog over there. Let's not get involved. Ooh, a corpse. Nice. Don't really want to do that, so let's uh, swap that over a minute. Put that out. Alright, Dr. Vika. Have a really lovely day, right? Thanks to the biddies. Enjoy yourself. Have a really good one. Alright, what we're going to do is just fill up the Jenny now. Pretty much no reason not to dump the entire lot in here. Well, at least, at least for another night, anyway. Swim's on the verge of lo local lockdown, seriously? When did that happen? Today? Right, let's cook these mushrooms before they go funny. I don't know, I can't remember how long they last, it's not very long. Alright, almost got enough to give us a dose, which is excellent. Yay, dead person! Dead persons are good! Alright. We can barricade windows. We ain't gonna do that for now. What we are gonna do, however... Where's the workbench? I was in there, being us loose. Right, there we go. A board with nails in it! You know? It's effective. Perfect. I now have a weapon. Which is incredibly important. We can now bap things. We can also repair our weapon, which is also important, but... Ideally, we don't want to be fighting things if we can avoid it. At least for now. Wait, I finally made it to Canada. What, on Kiko's stream? I've actually made it, have I? Oh my god. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm not surprised, Sticks and Strings. I'm not surprised. It's been a right shit show. Okay, there's nothing else we can do. We can make bandages right now. It's probably not a bad idea to have another set of bandages. Alright, let's... We can start exploring a little bit more. Okay. I'll keep the lock 
lockpicks on me. I don't know what I'm going to do with the bread. Get, put the bread in here for now. Scrap metal. Or can we keep things in the workbench? I can't remember if that's a thing or not. Yes, I can. That's where we keep things. I'm being useless. Okay. Right, so we'll keep that there. Gasoline can go in there. We'll keep the lockpicks on us. We'll keep the bottles on us. Source. Alright. Right, let me transfer stuff out of the... Uh... Nice. We can we can make Molotovs with the, uh, the alcohol as well. So... Lovely. Right. Out to explore again. Where are we on the map? So there might be something to the north, actually. Let's have a quick look. It's important we have a good look at what's, what is around here, as best we can. Ooh, corpse. Poor bastard probably died of starvation. I certainly hope so. Better that than the alternative in this place. Oh, sorry, Molotov. Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't ever throw you without, uh, you know, asking you first. Nice. Stones. Nails. It's important to have stuff like this. Cool. We're going to need loads of logs eventually. Nice. That's not a good sign. Ah, shiny stone. Neat. Shiny stones are good. We want those. Mm, I want the rest of that too, which is a bit of a nuisance. So what? Uh, I don't quite know where we are. Let's have a quick look. I'm right near my house. Okay, that's fine. So we'll quickly go back and dump stuff into the uh, the what's it. I can't remember how much time I get on this first day. So we'll plonk all these and the stones, scrap metal, in here for now. The shiny stones, we, we have good value, so if we can keep those, that's all the better. They're easy to see with, uh, they're certainly easy to see when we use torches and stuff, if I remember correctly. How spoiler free do we plan to be? Uh, spoiler free for people in the chat who haven't seen it, I think, yeah, as best we can. Alright, Mr. Corpse was up here. It's getting late. It's getting late in the day. Mr. Dead Guy was here? Here? Somewhere? There he is. Don't have a huge amount of time, but let's... Hey, Sinto! used to be someone's house. Time to go. We got we got a minute or so to get back home before it gets dark. Let's not waste it. Alright, here we go. Now we gotta kinda hunker down. Can't waste too much time though. Get a generator on. Okay. Gonna want to make a barricade. What do I need for barricade? Three planks, seven nails. Okay. How many planks do I have? I've got no planks. I've got loads of wood, but no planks. Alright, we're gonna risk it then. Alright, it's getting Ooh. dark. 
So what we're going to do is this. We keep dragging. We can lock this. Here we go. Alright. We don't want the light c going outside. Uh, I could have really done with barricade in this window. And this one. Right, we're going to have to make do. Try and get this light away from the window if we can. Okay. I forgot to do the saw um, earlier, yeah, with the wood we had. It's night time. Now we just gotta wait. It's not survival mode per se. It's a survival game, but where we can definitely, we can absolutely snuff it if we, uh, if we make it overnight, we get rewarded. If we don't, we don't. That's the idea. Hey, Weasel! No, it's like I just didn't, didn't do the saw today, didn't really, didn't really get enough time, and I forgot, I was like, ah, oh, I got all these logs. Thing is, we can look outside, but things can look inside. Lude. Hopefully things won't find us. All hail Saint Stabatha. She of many stabs and loot titties. Thanks for the biz, Kane. I think you can, Aaron, yeah. If you want to. I never bothered the first time around, I don't think. But this was ages ago. Hello. Looks like we're being visited by something. Something's out there. This one isn't too bad. There's a room over here we can use. So for next tomorrow night, I might move over here. Hold up by the front door. So the neighbours asking for some sugar. Well, the neighbours can piss off. I ain't got no sugar. I've got dodgy mushrooms though. Dying is extremely bad for your health. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Saviour, Spooky Trees? Hello? Could risk it. Could bludge outside and see if we can go grab them. Bit hardcore though. Especially when I'm not very armed. Ten PM oh jeez, seriously, some people have no common sense, right? Cool. That was a rather uneventful night.
Voldemort wouldn't eat that shit like the horrible goblin we are. No, 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 no. Hey, playful. First night of the game. Went alright, though. Went alright. Daybreak. We made it. Oh, sorry, Fury. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. Let me quickly look at the old activity feed. Really, really sorry about that. 14 months! You got hired as a seasonal for management position. Oh, well done! Oh, well done to you! How is it? You enjoying it? Thank you so much for the 14 months as well. Alright. So, we got infinite time now. So what we're going to do is... It's... Oh! It's that friend. Hello, wolf. Even from afar, I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, meat. The figure hides its fur under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost. If you help me attend to a certain matter. What do you say, comrade? As he leans towards me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. <laughs> I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I've no time for weaklings, meat. You follow? No, just for something fun to do, playful. It's a good game. Hey, you know, fox, wolf, wolfy fox. Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? <laughs> if I were you, I'd prepare myself well before setting out. When you get there, you will find me in this spot. Remember it. The wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. Show item. Plastic chick. Beautiful item. Perfect for a church fair. What's that you've got there? The wolf snatches the photograph from my hand and studies it carefully. Finally snorts its thick, yellow spit landing on the photo. <laughs> this road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees like all the other ones. The wolf throws the photo on the ground. Better forget about the road home meat. Around here all the roads lead to nowhere. Puppers? We can trade with him, of course. He will sell things to us. We have uh, 50 reputation, do we? Okay. So we don't. there's not much I can get off him right now. Handgun frame, which of course costs a fortune. There's a watch. Magazines for the guns. Gasoline. Flashlights. For now, I don't really have anything. So. We'll gossip, though. If I were you, I wouldn't venture too far from here. Unless you get bored of your lousy life, meat. Only a few returned from the dense woods, and those who made it back were not able to share their happy stories. <laughs> you wish to spend some more quality time basking in the striking yet natural beauty of my features? Before you head off to the silent forest, you will find me in my camp in the dry meadow. So he ma he's got a map. He's on the map here. Our boy. There he is. He's actually not too far from here. That's actually quite useful. So, he'll stay here for a little bit, but... Right, so... Best place to camp out? Let's have a think. Possibly this room. Here. We got... We got a door here we can lock off. And we can put a wardrobe in front of it. The only thing is... Actually, we we'll probably put the wardrobe here. Lock off, lock off that area. Maybe... Close the door here. Yeah, so we give us this kind of room. I think maybe the best. Lewd. Don't mind me, Foxy, just redecorating. Yeah, me too, Jessica. I've been looking forward to this. Been looking forward to this. Wasn't that long ago I reinstalled it. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's time to do it again. I wouldn't call him a damn furry. That guy's got an AK. Alright, so we're going to dump the wardrobe about here. 
perfect. Jam it, jam it, jam that sucker in there like that. Hopefully. Nice. Alright, cool. Time doesn't pass in the morning when we're here like this. So we we got a bit of time to muck around. So we can uh, drag the lights where we... Why is this... Why are you going to be this way, light? I think the generator goes off automatically, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't. Fuck. Make sure that generator goes off. Don't think it uses up a huge amount, but... There we go. Definitely need to get some planks sorted. I mean, to be fair, lamps are pretty hardcore, you know what I mean? Alright, we're going to dump this one down here, probably. Cool, then we'll go get the other one. The bear trap's doing its own thing up there, which is fine. Really? Damn, okay. Yeah, this game gets very stressful. That, that first night, is that that's the one that gives you lots of spooky noises and not a lot else. Tomorrow night, the ne well, the, today, tonight, I guess, this is going to be the... Uh, this is going to be the bad one. Yeah, I have a habit of leaving generators on. I'm pretty useless, to be honest. A mighty Halloweener defeated by lamps. It's got to be done, though. <laughs> Lude. Hey, Noble! I didn't see you pop in there, dude. Thank you very much. You fine man, you. Thank you for that, dude. Alright, so I'm going to nick my gas of gas of gasoline. Oh, I need some... Uh, let's see... I don't know how many I can use, but let's quickly... Yep. We need some wood logs. 25 fuel. It's got 70 in there already, actually. Okay, let's put a little bit more in there. Okay. Okay, so we got 10. We got a fed. We got a decent amount of planks in there at the moment. We'll leave the rest of the planks in there. Cool. So we've got enough to do some bits with, which is absolutely fine. Need to barricade that window for sure. Thank you so much, Noble. Playful, you know the rules now, you gotta spam to lose. You take you yell at him you can yell at me in real time. No better place to yell at me. Oh yeah, we could we could trade the shiny stone with Wolf actually. If we really want to be, we'll keep that for this time for the time being. Um, right, I need some nails. So we're gonna wanna barricade this window here. Absolutely. Nice. We do not want that going out. So we can barricade the doors, but it gets a bit of a faff. It gives me a bit of breathing room if anything gribbly comes in as well. Alrighty, let's go on a mission then. So let's slap us these planks in there. We got a torch. Don't need the gasoline on me. I'm gonna have to refill I'm gonna have to refill for another night, so I've got enough of that. Torch, fine, bandages, lockpick. Okay, I think we're good to go. Bandages with alcohol. Different kinds of torches. Okay, right, let's go have a look around them. Alright, let's have a quick let's have a quick nosy. Where are we? So we go back to the brook and check in that place. That's probably the, my first my first port of call is over here. Right, time now starts. Let's go. The day started. Ah, can I pause this? Yes, I can. Let's have a look, pumpkin. Let's have a nosy. Oh god, where's the thing? I've lost it. I've lost the stream. I've lost the stream. There it is. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking amazing. He's, he still looks incredibly creepy, yet very tiny and kind of cute. That's fantastic. Oh. Pumpkin, that's amazing. Alright, let's bludge it. Alright, let's go back inside here. Before it gets too gribbly. Hopefully we won't find any gribblers in here. 
Just take out my nasty plank, just in case. Alright, let's go down this way, and then we can drag it back. He is, he is he's some sort of, like, uh, cross creature, isn't he? He's, he's pretty, he's pretty, uh, spoopy. Alright, here we go. Kinda hoping there's nothing else in here. I don't know if we can get around there, actually. I think we can. Alright, it's fine. Shit. I forgot I hate dodging this. Meat. Cool. If we stay away from it, it shouldn't bother us. Is it spacebar? No. It's control. It's control. I knew it was, it was one of the buttons. Is there anything down here? Any corpses? No. I love that emote, Omni. That's amazing. It's not my Jenny. I don't need to worry about that one over there. Another cornfield. Oh man, I don't want to go in here yet. Oh, I don't want to go in there yet. Uh, we'll leave that to the next night. I'm going to be a huge coward about that. Locked. Okay, let's open it up then. Ah, gasoline. Perfect. And a battery. Come on. Nice. More meat. And more importantly, I can get access to this body. Perfect. Where are we? Nowhere. There's the wedding. So we're, we're near the underground entrance, I guess. More gasoline. Perfect. This is exactly what we wanted to find. This has been a good. This has been a good day already. We've we've got some good good stuff here. As Skeletor, I no longer need you, He Man. I have Wolf Man now. And he's far cuter and more competent than you, fool. Yeah. What's down here? Looks like the edge of the woods to me, but... Alright. Hooey! Hooey! This is the edge of the woods, okay. That's where the dark woods begin. Can't really do much there. This should be the... Shit. This should be the south side of the wedding. There's Doge. Okay. That's fine. There's Corpse. Okay, cool. Let's get head this way. There's no strict time limit on the game, but there's no point, hang like, doing fuck all either, you know? I'm gonna go back to the house. Drop off my supplies. It's probably midday, if not slightly later. So we should have a little bit more time to explore slightly further. We've got this cornfield here I want to explore. Could be some cool stuff in there. Could also be horrible murder. Speaking of horrible murder. If in doubt, the woods did it. Yep. Alright. 
Cool beans. Let's drop off our goodies. So, Jenny, look at that, all that fuel we got. Mmm, delicious. Okay, wire, nail, alcohol, rags, batteries, matchsticks. We'll keep the meat on us for now, can we just toss it? Gotta toss the meat! LOL! Alright, let's go over here. It's the trees! Can you go stream just ended? Hello, Luna! Children of the Corn would be proud. Looking at this angle, maybe we should clear up this way first. If there's anything over here. Maybe we'll run into the killer elk of Foxville. Okay, there's more wood up this way. Okay, that's actually kind of handy. Let's just grab what we can. This is always useful. Where are we? Okay, this wood part here. Fine. Cool. That's the thing, you, you have to expend your day relatively constructively, but you can, you know, you can spend a bit of time. I'm finding more spooky mushrooms yet, though, but they don't tend to grow outside like this. Can I hope I find at least one, though? Found the broken tree. Okay. Lude. I got. I heard I got to Canada. It's a raid. It's a raid. Whoa! Hello, Kiko. Thank you for the raid, man. I'm finally glad I made it to Canada. You kept me safe this time. <laughs> Lude. It's a raid. Are the alert? None of the alerts working. They should be. Did I turn them off like some doofus? No, they should be on. They should be on. Wait, who didn't make it to Canada? Oh god, let me pause that. I'm going to get murdered otherwise. Who didn't make it to Canada? Thank you, Nolden. Hello there, Halloween. This time you survived and made it to Canada with a super shotgun in hand. Really? I had a super shotgun? Damn, that's friggin' awesome. Pretty happy about that. Thanks for the boost, HK. I'm so glad I finally made it to Canada. I was getting quite sad about that. Oh, that's not a good noise. Hello, everyone who's just joined. This is Darkwood, an extremely disturbing 2D horror game. I've played it on my channel before, but if you've never seen it, it's an extremely good game. Oh, wonderful. It's raining. Just what we needed. Less vision. Where are we? Exactly, Tufa. Tufufa knows what is that. Got to get the cosy dark wood on the go. Mushrooms. Ah, tractor. Gasoline. Friggin' score. We're on the other side of the cornfield. It's fine. Lead. Thanks, Nolan. The Apple said you took over part of Canada with an army of doggos. Oh, that's nice. Shame that Alien Cabellion didn't make it, though. I shall pass on my condolences later. Rip and pepperoni. There's a crate here. How much room have I got? Not enough, probably. I could toss the stones. Yeah, I could. Okay, I could, I could probably. Uh, I could. I could probably do it. Nine volt battery. Nice. Okay, where are we? Shit. I need to be able to find this crate again. We're just south of the... Okay, we're just south of the cornfield. There's a crate. I need to make another lockpick then. Army of doggos! Yay! Doggos! Omni, that's so good. <laughs> did, I ever use your fl did I ever use a flare in my first playthrough? I think like once? I want to say. Dog over there. It's getting dark, but I don't think it's dark, dark, if you know what I mean. Right, let's, since we're here, let's fill the generator back up before I have to worry about it later. Oh, 
I'll do for I'll do a couple of nights worth, I guess. Actually, I might as well just dump dump this one in there. Hey, kid. Nice. Why are the flares too valuable? Good question. Alright. Cool. Right, we've got a decent amount now. Got some more rauks. We can we can use the rauks to make something cool actually. We also need to upgrade the workbench because that like we can make some more stuff then. Let's do that. There, cool. Molotov, single shot. The single shot's completely pointless. Inventory upgrade, also useful. We won't do that later. Okay, so let's put the nails in there. The flares are worth 30 each. Okay, that's actually more than I was expecting. Aren't they good against the Banshee Kruby? Yes, I think they are, actually. We're going to need some more planks. We've got, I haven't got much fuel in there. Like that, we can fix that. I'll just dump this entire lot in there, because we'll need that. No, nothing Nothing respawns. However, you, you kind of get enough to keep yourself going for quite some time, so which isn't too bad. All right, Kiko. Yeah, it's friggin' warm, isn't it, dude? Thank you so much for the raid. Oh. Cool. Right. We want all these. Yoink. So, let's see. I can upgrade more nails to inflict more damage. Hardened. Need more scrap metal. I mean, making more damage is going to be good. So let's do that. Extra nails. Let's also repair this thing. Nice. I don't know how much time we got before night. Lead. It normally says, actually. Good news for me, short live heat wave. Gonna be 10 degrees colder over there tomorrow. Yay! Bad news, it's Denmark tomorrow. No! Rip and pepperoni. Well, I hope you deal with it okay. It's obviously not very nice when it's, uh. Oh! It was locked. I need to make a lock pick. Shit. How much time do I have, do you reckon? Probably a decent amount. Thank you for the bits, Blue Nolan. It's raw! Where's the lamb sauce? Alright, lockpick. Oh, I can literally only make one lockpick right now. That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Fine. Better than nothing, though. Alright, if we can... Ugh, it's getting dark. I think it's getting dark. It's kind of hard to tell with the rain. But I think we might be able to squeeze down and go open that chest. So, for everyone who's just joined, who hasn't seen this, this is a survival horror game. But it's, it's, it's definitely a horror game. It's a 2D horror game. And most of the scares come from the noise. However, I want to warn everyone, because I know some people are very sensitive to this kind of stuff. There are absolutely jump scares in this. In fact, we will probably see one soon-ish. Just want a fair warning, alright? So, um... I'll give you a heads up when it's kind of coming. If that helps. For those who are not, not super keen on jump scares. Okay, we need to beat this guy. Okay, he's left. That's fine. I thought you could loot the shrine, but no. No worries, Noble. Thank you very much for dropping by, dude. It was lovely to see you as always. Oh, hey, Wolf. 
Wolf's a grouch. We'll talk to him later. He has some goodies for us, but I'm not too worried about him right now. It's getting dark, though. It's time to start thinking about heading back. We've had a, this has been a pretty good day scavenge, to be honest. Honestly, Wolf's camp is being so close is incredibly useful. Right, cool. Right. So tomorrow we're going to explore this and that one. I say tomorrow, I mean in-game, not like tomorrow, tomorrow. Like tomorrow in-game. There is a dogger around here though. I want to avoid smashing its face and if I can. Alright. How much time do I have before it gets really dark? Mm -hmm. Probably need to turn the generator on now. I'm going to leave it a little bit. The longer I can leave it, the better. How old do you do? Boo! The graphics are incredible for this for this game. It makes it, it really works. Right, here we go. Okie dokie. Right, let's see if we can do this without getting horribly murdered. I need to board up. I might actually board up this window as well. Need planks and nails to do that. Planks are quite hard to come by, but I think it's worth. Right. Okay. So we got a bit of room to play with her. We can shut this door if we want to to give us an extra barrier. I'm going to add something here. Gives me a bit of a noisy leeway when I know it's coming. Okay, let's get some. Here we go. Right, I want a Rude. bit of I want a bit of visibility in here if I can. Here we go. Alright. Here we go. Fancy bread, thank you so much for the biddies. Expect the unsuspected. Oh, sorry, expect the unexpected. Swindon is one of the Southwest's best kept secrets, a thriving and diverse modern town full of hidden gems. More like hidden germs right now. Am I right? Seriously, that's pretty grimly. <laughs> thank you for the bits, Fancy bread. I love your name, by the way, that's fantastic. Thank you very, very much, that's really kind of you. Okay, night number two. Shall we hope we survive the night? Fingers crossed. We've barricaded the two most dangerous windows, I'd say. We got our door to the bedroom closed. The light's flickering. Sounds like things outside. Hey, Synergy. Yeah, I haven't played it since then. I'm really excited to play it again. It's on at my door. Invite you to the invitation behind the cornfield, southwestern edge of the dry meadow. 
What a knob. How rude is that? It's my fucking front door, prick. Lude. Worst not knock pr prank ever. Yeah, especially as that guy stayed. That guy was useless about it. Well, at least he did knock, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Dave Phoenix. Appreciate that. Dummy thick. No, my friggin' board and nails is dummy thick, I tell you. So we've got an invitation to the wedding. We'll take him up on that. Darkwood feels like an R-rated version of Don't Starve. Yeah, I can see that, actually. Darkwood takes itself very, very seriously. There's, there's, I don't think there's any humour in this at all. Nothing else I was trying to move my wardrobe, which is good. Obviously, there was a there was a dude outside. I could heal up, to be honest. Mm, I lost a little bit of health. Probably isn't worth it. This is in Poland, I believe. No solicitors. Why are we... What's this about solicitors? Oh, fuck. My early warning system's getting a bit upset. This is the first one, Synergy. Yeah, we've, only, we've this is the first like stream we've done of it, so we're at the very we're at the very first. This is the second night in our home. Okay. Excellent. There might be something over here, but a little, wait a second. Wait, did the dead savage fall through the wall? Hey, Anna. We do find out playful, yeah, we will. Yeah, I think you're right, Kerbichev, actually. Oof, that was catching me off. Ah! Day three. Alright. So, we survived the night. Hello, it's the trader. A man roughly my size is standing before me. I can barely make out his disturbingly familiar features through the matte visor on his helmet. The massive helmet is covered with an old sack and seems to be an integral part of his unnaturally pale body. I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from the doctor's house. The man reaches out with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal. Something written on his worn woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. His lips are moving, but all the sounds are drowned inside the helmet. He shrugs, and takes the huge sack off his back and drops it to the ground, revealing its contents. We can show him the photo of the road. He wipes his left glove on his pants, takes out the charcoal from his pocket and starts scribbling. When he finishes, he lifts his dirty hand. All roads lead deeper into the woods. So we can trade. We've actually got more reputation with him now. Every time we survive the night, we will get a hundred money with the trader. Yes, this game this game has the tension that I've never really seen in a game like this since. Especially a 2D game. We're dying over here, Days Phoenix. Dying, seriously. So he's got loads of stuff. Expensive fabric. But we can trade with him. We can trade our shiny stone with him, which we're going to do shortly. So let's just exit a second. So again, time won't pass until we leave. I don't know if we can. I want to stop the generator, but I don't know if that means that's technically going out and stopping the trader. I'm not going to take the chance. I'm just going to let it run for a little bit. I... So let's grab the shiny stone a minute. Because we don't need that. Alright, so we can trade the stone for 130. We'll accept that. Alright, so what do we want? 
Pills heal us, which are great. Time advance only certain dispensation. I'm also not sure if that includes the generator as well, though, Kane. You can turn the genie off safe. You can, yeah. I can sell the flares if I don't need the flares. Yeah, that's a good point. Cheers, Anna. It's always a pleasure to see you, my man. Watch can be that can be helpful. We find a lot of this stuff normally, so. Honestly, getting some wire would be kind of handy right now. One of the mushrooms to get us a level up is also quite good. Getting some more boards is kind of handy. Hmm, what do I want? At this point in the game, I probably want the mushroom and nothing else for now. Maybe the wire? Ah, it's quite expensive though. Eh, lockpicks are so handy though. Alright. Cool. We'll take that for now. Right, let's go turn off the uh, generator. Stalker doesn't have the old foxy boy. Yeah, the shovel's really handy. It's probably something we want to get eventually now, anyway. Alright, we want to cook our shroomage. Which is glorious. Now, what have we got? Eagle Eye, we'll be able to see further. Once a day, I'll be able to heal myself by standing next to electrical light source. Moff. Once a day, I'll be able to learn my current location on the map. I'll be able to heal myself. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, Moth is pretty handy. I think that's probably going to be the best one we can take here. Muff! Should we muff, guys? Do, do we, do we want to be a muff? Do we want to be lamp, my brother? Moth, brother. Alright, we'll muff it up then. I need to choose a negative perk. Well, alright. That one's kind of a freebie anyway. Cool. So, when I want to heal myself for freebies, I can do that, which is really nice. So, right, let's make a lockpick, because we'll need one of those. Pick! Alright, we've got some matches on us as well. Fine! So, cool beans. Two things to do then, this morning. That's, uh... And that's relatively fine, that's fine. Okay, so we don't need the matchsticks right now. Lots of gasoline! I got some boards, I got car magazine, that's all fine. I can sell the flares, don't need to do that right now, though. A trap for bears and other things. Right, let's leave. So we want to go south. We can actually repair the well if we want to for free water and stuff, but me. Grand Moffween. Honestly, I haven't played this since I did the LP, so I'm probably going to end up playing it slightly differently anyway. Because it's been so friggin' long. Alright, here we go. Let's go straight into this field now. Oh, there's a corpse here. Bread! Didn't even see the body. Nice. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know how easily we can get into the cornfield from this side. If at all. The lighting is very neat. Look at this. The trap for bears and Ollie. Why do you want to trap Ollie for? He's a nice he's a nice boy. Ah, poisonous mushrooms. Yoink. Some more mushrooms. Cool, we'll take these. And as always, they rot fairly quickly, so I think once we get out of this, we'll, um... Once we get out of here, we'll, we'll go take them straight to the cooker. Cooker. There's something in the cornfield with me. Not quite sure where though. <laughs> I 
Fuck you, man. There it is. Just leave. Confidence is a silly place. Right, let's go back and cook the... Uh... Go back and cook, and then we'll go to the wedding. Everyone loves the wedding, right? Uh, you, c you can go outside. I tried it once. You can go outside, but something chases you. Um, and you get pretty ripped pretty quick. Lewd. Distraction biddies. Thanks, Indy. I used to, yeah, I used to float around the cornfield when I was a kid. It was good fun. Nice. Alright, once again, we'll dump our supplies in here. We got some scrap. Got some more bread. I can't remember what we do with bread. We got a lantern, which is actually friggin' useful. So we'll keep... Come on, can you turn it off? No, you just gotta put it in your quick bar if you want it on. Thing is, the lantern's really handy because we allow we can have it on and have a weapon to fight with at the same time, which is just like literally life saving sometimes. Lude. Titties! Yay! I mean biddies. Also, yay! Thanks, Froggy! Alright, let's avoid the doggo. Right, let's go to the wedding then. Okay, potential jump scare warning for this next section. So just you know, so you're so you're aware. Shit, have I gotta bring a gift? Oh man. Who wants to bring a gift to a wedding? What a scam. No fun allowed. Wait, what? Oh, but I like it. Oh, flowers. This must be the right way. Oh, nice. People are recognizing my loot emotes. That's fabulous. It's always a good sign. You loot this sucker. I don't think we can. Might be able to go up here. Nah. Shame. Yes, yeah, so the wedding's not very pleasant, is it, Blair? Pits off, dog. We're actually slightly, probably slightly south of the wedding now. Oh no, maybe not. Someone over there. Lude. Should we have a look? MC gone to a dim. That's just minding their own business. Master Mirror at your service. Lude. Oh, 
metal door. Wrong code. Hold on, do I have a journal? Forgot what the journal's under. J? Aha. Ah, invitation. Caliber magazine, very nice. Hey, it's a piggy. Hey, piggy. Oh, it's just a piggy. No piggy. No piggy, it's a piggy. Arf, arf. the uh, lantern now. A rusty tractor overgrown with bunches of thin roots. Gasoline? A steering wheel? I'm not sure I want that for, but... I'm gonna make a lock pick a minute. Free up some room. I'm gonna take the gasoline, that's more important right now. What do you want the steering wheel for? Maybe it's crafting. It's a strange knocking noise. Well. We've been waiting for you. that door. The bed looks nice though. Wanna dance? Dance with me. Dance. you dance with me? No! I don't dance with anyone! Fuck, be gone, thoughts! I'll beat you with my stick and nails! Hey, Marilyn! He's gone. Lude.
we've been waiting for you. Dad will be. I cornered myself like a doofus. Lude. Ah, I lost a load of my stuff. I think I've got time to go back and get it. Yeah, we can go back and get it. We got time. All right, let's go. Not the first boss, no, just a regular enemy, but fighting it in there is just nasty, with especially with the weapon we've got. We should have enough time to go back and get it, in theory. So yeah, that pretty much sums like sums up how the game likes to be super creepy. Y'all see what I mean? There is a permadeath mode, yes, absolutely. There's one where you have lives. So if you want if you want to play the game with like permadeath you you absolutely can. So it should be over here. We're on too far. Yep. Damn. I wonder how many people know power in that scene. Is this randomly generated? Yeah. Here we go. I don't think I, I don't think I actually was stayed to fight it last time. What you're supposed to do is fucking book it, but, you know. I didn't check if Piggy was still alive, to be honest. I'm gonna file this under Fuck Piggy. Piggy's still alive, then good for Piggy. We're gonna book up. Okay, so we actually came out of that relatively unscathed, all things considered. It's a later game enemy that appears there. Um, it's designed just to fuck with you. It's just really creepy. <laughs> Except that one's wearing a wedding dress, because, you know. Because Darkwood. Darkwood.jpg. And we're almost back. Cool. She did want to look beautiful. But she's been waiting for us. Just about ready. How much? What do you need to repair the wall? Four. Mm, honestly, that's not that bad. Might be worth doing for some free health. I've got a bit of time. Might just. Uh We can drink from that one today. Get some freebies. 
quite nice. Right, let's get the uh, Jenny turned on, shall we? I did get my stuff back. Yeah, I got it all. At least I think I got it all. I might have lost my lock picks somewhere along the lines. Bit of a bummer. Now you're replaying it, is there anything, any things you found to be more creepy when you've played? I guess because I know potentially what's going to happen and what's coming is actually worse because I know the, the extent of how bad it can get, which is pretty funny. Oh no, I just, I just, I binned them, okay. That should be fun then, okay. May need to repair this. What's the what's the repair job on this one? Yeah, let's just do that. Don't want to be without my weapon. Yeah, we got lots of. We fact we've been good with the gas so far. All right, night falls again. Third night. Let's see how we do. You've got the tractor in the back of the wedding. I don't think so. I think I, I think I loot it all. Hey, T-Nick. You alright, man? You swapped out for the wheel. Oh, what did I, what did I drop off again? I dropped off, um... I it was a matchstick, wasn't it? Meat in the oven, that was it. Nah, that's not that bad. Okay. Bedroom has a trap in there. If we're fortunate, if anything climbs in, it will trap itself. Got some company. The front door's open. Oh, fuckers are fucking with my lights. Hey, Chuckle Popper. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Fuck off. I want to go home. This lamp is my friend. No one will touch him. Bloody vandals. It's my house, you knobheads. Piss off. I claimed it. It's my smelly oven. Oh? All mushrooms growing outside, but nothing too spoopy. Fuck. Cursed it, didn't I? Seriously, I'm amazing at jinxing myself. Thank you. 
Ah, fuck. You got past my my wardrobe. Pricks. Ah, there's another one! Shut up, piss off, mate! I'm gonna rethink my wardrobe. It's not working very well. Moth! No poor puppy, it was out to get me. <laughs> the tranks, exactly. We're using my tranquilizer board and nails. Oof. Nice. After each survived night, you gain reputation with the trader. Beautiful. We made it! We made it another night. Cool. Nice, nice. Alright, we'll stop here for today's stream. Lewd. We've done pretty well so far. Okay, we died once, but that's not canon, obviously. Stalker. Thanks, Kane. So we're on day four, and we've got a few more things to explore. We've got to uh, upgrade our little workbench some more, but we've got to, mostly, we've got a shitload of fuel already, which is super handy. Fifth attempt. What? No! I've... No! It's the second attempt, really. Seriously, guys, thank you very, very much, everyone, for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's a really creepy game, and I hope you'll join me some more. It's good times. It's very fun. Tomorrow is, oh, like that picture from the lovely pumpkin there, who, like I've said before, is open for commissions if you want to commission her. She's really good, look. Look how fucking good she is. Anyway, point being, tomorrow is Dead by Daylight Community Games, so if you want to pop in for some lovely community games tomorrow, please do feel free. They're normally survivor games, but uh, we do do the odd uh, kill, kill your friends kind of thing. I'm a delicious shill. And I will shill because she's really good. Like, seriously, though. And with that, thank you ever so much, everyone. Seriously, everybody is welcome to join Dead by Daylight. There's the entire point of community games. If you've got Dead by Daylight, come join. If you don't have Dead by Daylight, maybe grab it. Get it on CD keys for like three quid. Seriously. It's really good. Really good fun. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching Darkwood. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been a blast. I haven't played that since the LP, and I've been thoroughly enjoying myself. Pumpkey. All right. Mwah. Love you all. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Have a good evening. Don't, you know, don't eat spooky mushrooms and beat dogs to death with 2x4s. It's not healthy. Catch you later.